is going to do some episode 15 and welcome back from Three Houses of Golden Deer. In the last episode, we did the Battle of Grondor Field, the longest episode of the entire series. Our battle was super tough and we had a bunch of supports and it was just, it was such a long episode. <laughs> yes, in this episode we're going to be doing one of the other paralogues. Probably the new one that Claude has, unless we have another one that we want to do, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I didn't look at any of them, but... To start off, we have a couple supports. We'll start off with the one I have with Lysithia, since that was the one I was supposed to... I would have done if the episode wasn't so damn long already in the last episode, so let's start it. <sighs> Thank you for helping me with my training again today, Professor. I'm gonna keep at it for a while longer, so you go on ahead. You should get some rest. <sighs> I can't. Not when I'm right on the cusp of using my power to greater potential. Surely you yourself are tired. Just don't worry about me, okay? Ironic timing. I'm sorry, Professor. It was careless of me to continue, despite how fatigued I clearly was. I probably should have listened to you. Now I've made a mess of things. I can't help but feel the need to rush in all things constantly. You get that way when you realize you haven't got much time. What do you mean? I believe I've mentioned that House Ordelia was, at one time, being controlled by people from the Empire. During that time, strange people, mages perhaps, came and performed rituals on all the youth within my family. With the Empire monitoring our every move, my parents could do nothing but watch in horror as all of this unfolded. One after another, the children died, until the only one left was me. You know, my hair wasn't always this color. During their experiments, they'd been doing things with my blood. One morning, I awoke like this, a shock of white hair. All trace of pigment, gone. Upon seeing me, the mages were delighted. They realized that their experiments had finally succeeded. Sure enough, they ran a test and saw that two crests coexisted within me. Losing pigment from my hair wasn't the only loss. The mages informed me that my lifespan was now greatly shortened. Five more years at most. Perhaps less. How awful. And again, clearly that's not the case because it's been more than five years since it happened. Because we've known you for five years. Shortly thereafter, the mages lost interest in me. And we never saw them in the Ordelia household again. Since all that, our family has been in decline. It's challenging now even to govern our territory. After all my mother and father have suffered. I at least want them to have peace as they grow older. That is all I wish for, but I haven't much time to ensure it comes to pass. It's too soon to give up. It's not like what's been done to me can be undone. Let's try to find a way to undo it. Professor. The only way I can conceive of would be to remove my crest somehow. I don't know if that's even remotely possible. Even if it were, I wouldn't be of much use to you and the others without my crest. I don't know about that. We'll find a way. You sound resolved. I'll allow your resolve to bolster my own. Thank you, Professor. You still have really freaking high magic even when the crest of Gloucester doesn't pop, bro. So... You're pretty good. She also has another one. Her ace support. Oh, she has three. Another one. Uh, ace support with Ignatz. Um, hey. Oh, Lysithia. Something I can do for you? Can you help me out with my shopping? Yes, of course. You need me to carry stuff? Actually, can you pick up some tea for me? I'd do it, but I'm drowning in work. You're so busy you can't go shopping. Okay. Do you have a favorite kind of tea? I'm not too picky. I just like having it around, really. Whatever's cheapest works for me. Here's some money. One question. Why me? 
You don't really need my help for this. I just thought I could lean on you a bit. You know, rather than trying to do everything on my own. Right, I see. Well, good. I'm glad you decided to approach me. Ah, but for this particular task, you might be better off doing it yourself. Oh? There are so many different kinds of tea, and I'm not very discerning. Well, what if I get you one you don't like? When I do my own shopping, I pick a tea at random. Otherwise, I'd be paralyzed by all the choices. It's the same with food. Sometimes I stare and stare at the options and never decide. You look like you were doing just fine when you went to get groceries the other day. I really had to push myself to do that alone. I don't think I can do that again. Sorry. Uh-huh. So, you've stopped trying to do things on your own, then? Yeah. Still, though. For today, how about you have some of my tea? If that'll do. Sounds nice, sure. Do you mind brewing mine while you're at it? Okay. Though I can't do it as skillfully as Lawrence, I'm afraid. I'll get it ready right away. Feel free to start focusing on your work. <laughs> what? I mean, you seem plenty reliable to me. I do? Really? How so? You're fun, you're easy to be around, and you rarely complain when you help others. Well, I'm just pouring you some tea. I'm not sure that qualifies as help. It's not easy for me to rely on people. But with you, it's different. Well, there aren't many things I can do, frankly. What I can do, I will do. So if you need anything, ask me, and I'll try to help. You really are unreliable, as it turns out. Guess I'll just have to take your word for it. That's sweet. Okay. And then we'll do Lysithia and Felix with their ace support. I've awaited this fated day. You don't change. Still prattling on about it. Aw, oh, come on. I just want to hear what you thought of the cake I gave you. Uh, it was edible. If by edible, you mean incredible, then yes, I agree. It was satisfying and lightweight. I imagine it would be quite useful as a battlefield provision. Please refrain from lumping delectable cake into the same category as provisions. You're upset and I don't understand why. I'm complimenting the cake. You've cured my dislike of sweets. For that, I thank you. You have an interesting way of giving compliments, but I'm glad you liked it. Yes. Got any cakes on you? You say that as though I just carry cake on me at all times. Did you want some? That's not what I meant. If you baked a cake, however, I wouldn't object to eating a slice. If cake is what you want, you can just ask me directly. It just so happens I have a brand new recipe I tried out, special for you. It's delicious and not overly sweet. Perfect for you. Okay. Go on, take a bite. Mm. You love it, I can tell. Here, try this one out too. Mm -hmm. See? So amazing, huh? Just keep working on that sweet tooth of yours. Then we can share cake notes together and eat cake together all the time. That is, it just sounds nice is all. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That does sound nice. I don't know if I ever got that in Blue Lions or anything, because I did have her along in Blue Lions. And I granted, I did end up with both units in Black Eagles, too. Interesting. All right, finally, Marianne and Lynn Hurt with their ace support. There you are, Marianne. I'd like a moment to talk. Oh, Lynn Hart. Um, I was just on my way to pray. All right. Afterwards. It's already getting late, though. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. So then, you're done? Linhart, were you here this entire time? 
But I was sleeping. Are you ready to talk now? I suppose. My apologies for keeping you waiting. I wasn't waiting. As I said, I was sleeping. I didn't want to disrupt your prayers. I see. So, what did you want to talk about? The results of my research. Your research? I intended to look into the power of your crest from the first moment I met you. I've been feeling quite happy of late, and I can conclude that it is due to your crest. Are you sure that's... Or more likely, I feel good because I've recently taken a bit of exercise. Oh. Although, keeping you from finding out I was researching you was plenty of exercise on its own. <laughs> Listen, Marianne. I'll tell you one thing for certain. Your crest is not the source of anyone's bad luck. The research on your crest is lacking, but other crests have been studied quite a bit. I can find no proof that a crest can influence the lives of those who come in contact with its bearer. And frankly, transmitting bad luck via touch sounds like a crazy superstition, don't you agree? That may be true. By the way, eating the vegetables you gave me caused no ill effects. They were as delicious as ever. It may be another story if I drank your blood. Ugh, now I'm nauseous. Ugh, you're going to make us both sick. All right, all right, sorry. As I said, it is my scholarly opinion that your crest does not cause bad luck. Thank you for your reassurance. It does make me feel a little better. It's probably just that you and the people around you have had some bad days. It happens. I'm going to watch over you from now on, and if either of us has bad luck, well, I'll look into whether it's just chance or if it's your crest. In fact, I'll dedicate my life to it. Your life? For me? Especially for you, Marianne. <laughs> Don't make me spell it out. That's sweet. <laughs> I wonder how far we can get with this plan, dressing up like Imperial soldiers to sneak in. Claude said it could use some refinement. Any ideas? I think we could dress Claude as a woman. Claude dressed no. as a woman? I don't understand what the point of that would be. I thought that was the one that she would like, but I guess her as the Emperor. On second thought, let's just stick to the plan as originally conceived. That seems safer. We need a disguise! Each time we take a step forward, more blood is spilled. But by spilling that blood, we're able to take yet another step forward. War is always a cruel affair. But luckily, we have each other to lean on. We've steeled our hearts. We won't be broken. I'm glad we have such reliable allies. I couldn't agree more. Without them, we could never have made it this far. Oh, and about taking the fort? I'll need a tad more time to prepare our plan. It's called an impregnable fortress for a reason, after all. My contingencies need contingencies this time, or we may not pull it off. The battle at Grander Field was gruesome, wasn't it? But perhaps it's irresponsible to look away, to close our eyes to the horrors of war. I agree. As survivors, we must ensure that all these lives were not lost in vain. We must see the tragic foundations upon which we'll build our future. May an age of peace rise from the ashes, so that all this sacrifice means something. Oh, Goddess, hear my prayer. Please bless the deceased with peace everlasting, and may his soul rest in tranquility. You know, I used to see him praying quite often when I would come to the cathedral at night. I wonder who it was he prayed for back then. My relationship with the Boar Prince began even before I was born. He was always by my side. You might even say that, at one time, we were best friends. What happened? I couldn't fathom the depth of his hatred for the Empire. So much anguish. Could I have saved him? Could I have stopped him? Among our prisoners of war, there were quite a few people who served His Highness. One of them stated that the Empire was involved with the tragedy of Dusker. If this is true, His Highness's motives seem clear. 
I can't help but feel that perhaps I should have been fighting by his side. Are you having regrets? No, not anymore. I am where I belong. Those of us still on this plane of existence will carry the torch. The inhumane actions of the Empire must not be repeated. Not possible. After the battle at Grandeur, some people claim they saw my father. They said he walked off the battlefield clutching his highness's dead body. So long as father's alive, I don't need anything else. I just... I hope to see him again one day. Okay, let's do our gardening here. Um, we'll harvest... Yeah, we got weeds. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, sell those or something. Alright, so, I need dried vegetables for something we're doing, so I'm gonna plant vegetable seeds, and I'm gonna leave them one day. Or, well, one week. An extra week, so. Hey. Since next week, I think I'm going to do the, the, the actual battle and whatever all right we're gonna actually cultivate these because i realized because i found that we actually have a dried vegetable in the convoy i just need carrots i didn't plant the right seeds for carrots but all right so we have unlocked the dark merchant which i don't even need really at this point Ooh, i can actually buy specific things that's kind of cool i don't exactly know what you need to uh, well, it gets repaired by arcane crystals, but cool. Yeah, I can buy smithing stone. It's kind of funny how it took me this long to figure that out. I also don't know where I got all the smithing stone that I used at the beginning of the last battle. All right, well, let's try this advanced brawling tournament. Let's give Raphael a shot. He may not be able to double, so. Okay, he can still double. So that's good, at least. Can't afford to lose. Very good. Okay. Yeah, this guy also... So this guy doubles him in speed. But at least Raphael will take him out in one turn. Just because of his immense strength. Again, I think Raphael might be able to sweep. Provided he doesn't miss. Uh, this guy he cannot, but that's okay. He doubles him. That's another one. Well done, Raphael. So now he's in finals. Very good. We might as well use an HP restore since we have it, and let's go. Well, I guess he doubles. He just straight up kills. 56 health, you know. Ew. Okay, so we have a couple supports, not too many, just two, I believe. Never mind, I got I got my last support, which is my A support with Catherine. So, um, let's start out. Let's just do Lawrence and Hilda with their A support. Lawrence, Lawrence, look! What is it, Hilda? Ah, a letter from your brother. That's right. Though part of me thinks it's some stranger imitating my brother's handwriting. He's never given me this much praise. Hilda, you've learnt the value of persistence. You're really maturing, stuff like that. Usually his letters are like, I'm worried about you, and stop being so lazy. Since I have fought by your side, I can assure you that his praise is genuine and entirely deserved. I've written about fighting in plenty of letters. Why is he so gushy this time around? I would venture to guess that your depictions of battle are more passionate than before. It's no surprise that such authenticity would resonate with a veteran warrior like your brother. If that's true, I have you to thank. You've inspired me to throw myself into battle. Does everyone think I'm a tough warrior now? I don't want to be stuck with their high expectations. Would that be so terrible? You are gifted, you know. Not to say that your lackadaisical nature has failed to endear itself to me. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. Speaking of letters, did you keep your promise? Did you, uh, mention me? I did. I told my brother all about you. I said you were a uniquely gifted leader who could inspire people to be their best selves. And I said that you'll be a real asset to the Alliance. I also told him how I wished you could join our family. 
He responded that he'd be honored to call you his brother. Truly? Oh, to have such a valiant brother would be beyond my wildest expectations. Um, Lawrence? You know what I mean about you joining our family, right? I believe I do. And I confess, if I am correct, that the same thought has preoccupied me as well. But you must forgive me. Now is not the time. Before we can consider our own future, we must first end this war. We must secure a peaceful world. And if we do attain a peaceful world, then what? Come on! Just say it. As much as I'd like to grant that request, I cannot. This is something that will deeply affect our lives. It must be said at the proper time and place, with the most artfully chosen words, and the perfect offering. I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, after all. <laughs> usually one for waiting around, but maybe I'll make an exception in his case. Alrighty then. <laughs> and then we have Claude and Flane with their A support. Hello, Flane. Isn't it about time you told me the truth? About what exactly? Who you really are. Villains are after you for your blood. There's no doubt that you're someone special. And that's why Sedith is always worrying about you so much, right? Well, yes. I see no reason to hide that fact. But just what makes that blood of yours so special? More than anything, I've been wanting to find out Teach's true identity. But yours is bothering me almost as much. Somehow, I can't seem to stop thinking about you. It's almost like a crush. I have a crush on your secrets, sweet flame. <laughs> Such flattery. I've tried asking Sedith, but there's no sign of him budging on the issue. At this point, I guess I just need better bargaining skills. Or how about this? If you tell me the truth, I'll do anything you say. That is not something I am willing to share, unfortunately. However, since you are so passionate on the matter, I will promise you something. What's that? If you somehow manage to uncover the truth of my identity, I will acknowledge it as truth. That's real nice of you and all, but I think if I could come up with the truth, I'd be able to tell from your reaction anyway. You're not great at hiding your emotions, after all. If you do somehow figure it out, then I would ask something of you, Claude. I would ask that you reveal your own true identity. <laughs> now that's a request I wasn't expecting. It has been clear to me for quite some time now that you are no ordinary noble. I have been pondering... Well, you, quite a lot lately. The curiosity is enough to drive me mad. I see. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Looks like we both have a little crush on our hands, huh? I hope the day comes when we can talk freely about both of our identities. Okay. Cool. Professor. Sup, Catherine? Let's do this shit. I will not yield! Yeah! It's been a while since I had such a close call. If not for you, Professor, I wouldn't have made it. I didn't expect to be ambushed on a simple scouting mission. Are you hurt? <laughs> You should be asking about the mission, not about me. I have to ask, Professor. What brought you here? I had a premonition. Hmm. So you came to protect me. I'm beginning to understand why your allies love you. These are selfish times. One doesn't expect to encounter selflessness. You're kind. In that respect, I'd say you're much like Lady Rhea. You think Lady Rhea is kind? What did I just say? Of course. It's thanks to her kindness that I'm here today. I was an outlaw in Fargus. She took me in and let me live here. Didn't I tell you? I was born into House Karen in Fargus. They used to call me Thunderstrike Cassandra. I was implicated in a plot to kill the king. It was a totally false accusation, of course. I had to flee the kingdom, and the archbishop took me in. Why did you come to the monastery? She, she just explained it. 
I used to be a student at the Academy, so I knew I'd be safe here. Lady Rhea saved me once when I was a student, you know. We were tasked with battling monsters, but we were ambushed. I almost died. Lady Rhea took care of me. She didn't mind getting dirty. She took my muddied, bloodied body into her arms. Since then, Lady Rhea has been my inspiration. I will always serve her, protect her, love her. For some reason, when I think about Lady Rhea, your face comes to mind. You've become an important presence in my life. I'm honored. I wasn't expecting you to have a positive response. I'm not thrilled about it personally. I am still going to keep my eye on you. Not so I can report to Lady Rhea, though. Just because I want to. Alright. <laughs> and that is it for free time. Teach. Sure. <laughs> Annette's birthday! Let's host a tea party for best girl. Alright, sweet Hello up a blend. There. I'm here for a visit. Of course you are. It's your freaking birthday. I love this tea. Is it a favorite of yours as well? I mean, it sounds pretty good. Thank That's you. for dang sure. It's so good. Okay. Okay. Reliable. Really? Okay. That's fine. Most, most, most of the people actually like that. I'm counting on you. That one especially. Everyone likes that. I know that. There's it an equation so. I've been thinking about. Can you help me with it later? Sure. Do. Okay. I love it. Yeah. I couldn't. I. It's. It's been a while. I just. I couldn't remember. I haven't given gifts in actually. I'm thinking of changing my hair. All right. So what? <laughs> it's better than it was pre-time skip. That's for sure. What are you thinking? I don't know. All right. Let's end the tea party. Thanks for the treat. It was so yummy. No problem. Happy freaking birthday, Annette. It is so dumb, though, like, after it's done, that it zooms in where it does, because, like, it cuts off half of her face. <laughs> Looks stupid. All right, Claude went up in axes. Lauren's went up in both magic and writing. Or reason and writing. Hilda went up in Lance is very good. She might be close to being able to be Wyvern Master. Felix is a B plus in reason now. Very good. Some things you can't learn in a book. Uh Catherine went up in brawling, maybe? This should be suitable. Could be useful. Growth sustains me. Looks like I'm getting it. Cool. Alrighty, let's do uh the sleeping sand legend now. So interested in learning more about the legends of Mackle. Or Macule. I forgot, I forgot, that's the one I've forgotten how to pronounce. One of the four saints, Claude Vengers out into the territory of Margrave Edmund to the Serang region. Blah. Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. The Sleeping Sand Legend, Bird Wind, Chapter 18, The Golden Scheme. Hmm. Very interesting. What are you reading? Oh, Teach. How long have you been there? Don't sneak up on me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Anyway, I'm reading the official biography of the Four Saints, as sanctioned by the Church. I know you're not very familiar with the teachings of Seros, but even you must have read it at least once. Maybe. Huh. I'm amazed you managed to get a job teaching at an academy run by the Church. Yeah, I know, right? Well, whether you've read the biography or not, the Four Saints must at least ring a bell, right? Mm-hmm. Well then, I've got a little quiz for you. Name the Four Saints, companions of the great Saint Seros. I'll give you a hint. There was Keyhole, Sethleen, Indec, and... Who was the fourth one again? I was actually gonna... I was actually gonna list them all off. <laughs> Mackle. Correct. McHugh. I was hoping you'd know Mackle. that much, at least. Forgot. In any case, you can learn some interesting things reading about the life and times of St. Macuil. For instance, Macuil. he was okay. more skilled with his hands than his fellow saints, and even became an accomplished blacksmith. He used his skills to forge countless sacred weapons for the army of Seros. Of course, he didn't just forge the weapons, he also used them in battle himself. 
Legends say his strength was second only to Saros. It's even said that he played a big role in the Battle of Teltine, where Saros fought Nemesis, the King of Liberation, who became the King of Evil. Machuel lost his life in that battle, and now his body rests in a coffin within the Holy Mausoleum. Or so one story goes. Another legend says he set off on a journey to find a new land. That he left Fodlan from the east, crossed the sea, and vanished. He must have left Alliance territory, but where exactly would he have set sail from, I wonder? Thinking about it reminds me of another interesting story concerning the Strang region. The peninsula is attached to the mainland of Fodlan and extends from the northeastern part of Kingdom territory. If you were to set sail from Margrave Edmund's territory, you could cut across a stretch of sea and land there. And it just so happens that in the Strang region, there are ruins built to worship a sacred beast that appeared from across the sea. If the ruins have something to do with St. Machuel, there could be sacred weapons there. So, have I piqued your interest, or what? Maybe a little. You always have to play it cool, don't you? Just think of how useful it would be to have weapons like that. Not to mention that the peninsula would be pretty easy to get to about now, seeing as how Alliance territory has settled down a bit. We'd be there and back in no time. No one would even notice we were gone. Come on, Teach. Let's go to the Srang region. Let's go. I always see it through once I set my mind on something. Let's make the necessary preparations before I die of curiosity. Alright, I don't think I'll be... Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. I might be using it. Let's, let's repair fail not. I was going to say, even though I'm probably not going to use it, we're going to repair it anyway, but... I'll, I might end up using it. You never know. All right, we'll also repair the Brave Lance. We'll see if I use it, but otherwise we should be good on weapons. I really want to try out the Inexhaustible on Leone. We haven't used it yet, and she's she only recently got to A rank in bows. So she can use it now, and I'm excited to give that a try, because that could be really cool. All right, this is the squad we're going to go into. I haven't gotten, gotten to really use number 12 for such a long time that my number 12 is on level 31 being either Annette or Lawrence, whichever one you want to you want to pick in that position. <laughs> They're the next highest leveled character. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully Annette can get some levels here in this fight or maybe even Lawrence either or even though Lawrence isn't very good cuz he's gotten both strength and magic screwed. Sandworms, Phantom Soldier, and the Wind Caller. It's a big old Griffin looking thing, jeez. All right, let's get going. We gotta defeat the enemy commander and defeat his Claude Falls. There are the ruins. It looks like we're not gonna have the luxury of an excavation. Look, I bet those are the watchmen of the ruins and that they've been ordered to keep out intruders. And that big beast, I hear they call it the wind caller. Please, only by defeating me can you claim the secret treasure. Yeah, it speaks. What is it? Beats me. Huh? Who are you? Just here for a bit of treasure. Don't attack me. Someone got here first. Must be a band of looters. We can't let them get the treasure. Guess their luck's about to run out. Okay. So are they just another band of enemies, or this guy... Is he gonna get attacked by them? Oh, there's more people over here. Ooh, that's it must be a good one. Brave Lance, interesting. Oh, I actually I want that. I want the rapier. Okay, I definitely want uh, Felix. Let's come down here. Really? That's weird that that thing would change its direction just because Felix being here instead. Interesting. I do want Felix to come and deal with that guy though. Um, Leone and Ingrid, my goal is to have them handle this guy here. He's already got busted shields, so actually two gambits straight up breaks his shields. Both of them. And I would like, I right. think, Claude to go over this way. Okay, that's Sandworm. We'll go for him. Ooh, 
right. I would have to use Fail Not in order to hit him. I would one shot him, but. I say do it. Crit, so it's guaranteed hit. That's good. I want him to go over and take out the guy with the rapier because I want that rapier. I'm not worried about that guy at all. Because I think just Claude's too good. And the one bad thing is that magic uni units are not hindered by the sand. Which isn't... Which is sort of a bad thing. But this... Well, it is for me. I mean, I, at least getting my units my like orders? Leone and Ingrid a little too close. God, you've got some range. Bust away to miss shields. Would that be a magic unit? Oh, it would be an axe unit. We'll be there instead. Leave it to me. That thing would go for Raphael instead. Now it's going for both. They're both going for Felix. Interesting. I just don't know which direction I have everybody move. If I have everybody move together, or if I end up. Because what is what are my conditions? It's just to feed the enemy commander, right? And it might just be simpler to route, though, just so I don't get don't have to worry about every one of these guys. This guy's got a tomahawk, could be decent. The one thing I want more than anything is the rapier. I already have a brave lance, so getting the you know the rusted lance that turns into a brave lance isn't the biggest deal. Same with the killer bow. Leone has both of those actually. That guy's just got a pure water, which isn't awful, but it I don't need it. An elixir is not bad, but concoctions, and we've been doing just fine with those, and I can buy elixirs easy like... enough. So, what do I do in this situation? Not worried about Felix. Steady now. Can I move you into a place that will get that Wyvern Rider to attack? No. Um. Shall we? Is you? I guess their attack is probably magic then. No, no, it's I maybe not actually because it's not actually doing magic damage. So, would they genuinely somehow do more to her? Surprisingly, yes. No, actually, it's one less, but for some reason they're going after her instead, and I don't know why. Maybe because of his Aegis possibility for that to pop? Let's make this quick. I guess it's totally possible. Okay, I want you to be here. You can help Claude take that guy out. What's my strategy? Well, I can just take the heat off of Felix entirely. Yeah. Let's do that. I'll do my best. All of our healers split. So, nope. I'm your girl. My goal is to get Annette maybe like a final blow on one of these guys. Just so she can get some XP. Just because that's what we will need. She'll need some XP. We'll have Ignatz go over this way. Can have him move over a little bit, actually. And Raphael will come down this way. Rally Sorry. Felix, because why not? Alright, let's get going. Sweet. Again, the rapier is the only one I actually care about, and that's where Claude's heading right now. Hold the grudge if you must. Of 
far dead. Maybe like Sithy can even finish that guy off. Cuts. Their, their animations take. You're not trying to take this treasure from me, are you? I just. If I don't get this treasure back. The boss is gonna be really angry with me. I think that's. I don't know. That sounded a bit like Max Middleman, but it, it could just be Alms huh? Hector. Are you looting too? Well, I'm not letting you have this treasure. You're gonna die. Wow. Nice. Again, the only one I actually care that much about is the rapier, so that's my goal is to get Claude over here. Okay. I want to equip. What would that lower? It would actually up my attack speed to 30. What is his attack speed? Because if he doesn't double me, I'll... Yeah, alright, cool. Perfect. I'll give you the... You can hold the silver bow, and once that guy attacks you, you'll be able to attack back. Perfect. Perf perfect! Perfect! Okay, so I think I'm gonna do... Well, the question is, can you just straight up take this guy out if we attack with... No. That's okay. Uh, Miasma does a lot of damage. Weakens you significantly. I could finish that one off or whatever. Hold on a sec. Is yours the. It's just two, okay. Hilda's is the one of four. Actually, no, I think I have that the one of four. Yeah, Gerald's Mercenaries. Okay. Got you covered. Let's do that. Now's our chance. Oh my god, I nearly killed that thing too. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Actually, you can probably throw on, yeah. Well. That's a little unfortunate because I attacked the wrong one, so I'll have Ignatz go for the other guy. That was my bad. I wanted to attack the one that Lysithia was fighting. The one that has literally like one health left. Still alive. Okay, we can have either of these guys gambit probably. So go for the gambit. Nice. Don't underestimate us. And then Inger... Actually, I probably should have had Leone... Uh, I should have had Ingrid do the... It's okay. Ingrid actually is able to still take him out. Perfect. 3% crit. We'll take it. It died before we got hit. <laughs> okay. Alright, what did that draw the attention of? Hey, okay. What is... What else is it? Oh, it's both those guys. Can I just draw the attention of one? Yes. That would be the goal here. Okay. Now. We could have Hilda and... Actually, that would not be the greatest idea now with that guy there. Ooh. I'm sorry. Dick ass there. Well, I suppose you could still canto out. I'll have you move out of the range of that magic unit, just because I obviously don't want you to take any damage from that. Ooh, how much damage we take in here? You have a resilience of 5. You have 40, 41, you wouldn't double him. 
do 36 damage to Raphael. I mean, Raphael, if anybody has the HP to live that. Here's an idea. Okay. We got a Garthian. Cool. If I move you around here, yeah, you draw the attention of other other enemies. Okay, the health bar is dead. How much Linhart would you be doing? I could have actually. Yeah, it's it's definitely more worth my uh, Lin, Linhart's while to warp that guy out of there. Nice. Ah, uh, unlucky miss, but that's okay. You're fine. Alright, well, at least he didn't kill him. That's the most important thing. I, I, I thought he was gonna go for me. So oh, good dodge, Felix. I thought he was gonna go for me, so I was not even worried about it, but... He didn't go for me. Okay. I'm gonna have Claude go take that guy out quick. He's the only thief I care about. I I don't know how many times I keep feel like I need to say this, but uh no, just attack him range. Do you have a better chance? No. I don't know why I'd even th think that iron is like always better. Send that back to the convoy. I should never have become a thief. I think it's Max Middleman. I guess he must just voice some random characters. Interesting. Okay. Perfect. For the future of Boba. Thirty-six for Ignatz. But a good. I want to. Okay, and Felix, just take this guy out quick. Perfect. Even better. One shot with a crit. Amazing. Yes, indeed. I agree wholeheartedly. Okay, can Linhart and Annette team up to take this guy out? Probably not. Yeah, and Hilda doubles. I guess you could possibly gambit, right? <laughs> or gambit, of course, Oko's. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, it gets a boost. So I might as well just have a net attack. So you people. Never mind, she can heal. We'll do that instead. Get, get some some XP in the end without risking her health. Because she take a lot from that. Don't get used to this. Now, what is that? That guy. I can deal. We can deal. Okay. You come on down here. Ooh, nope. Nope. Okay. You can silence. Why not? Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Like, I literally cannot touch her, so... That archer would go for Ingrid if I put her there. So it's not. Let's physic myself up. I'm the only one that has any health missing, I think. And then, you rally. Oh, nice. Get her some Get her some strength up.
After all the trouble we went through to get this treasure, I'm not gonna let you get your hands on it. Yeah, these fans of soldiers are not very really good. They took out one of them at least. No, that's my treasure. It's fine. I just need to get in there and start taking out these stupid archers so they stop being a problem. It could be something that, like, it's a. If I don't actually take care of them, that we're in deep shit or something. Okay, are you able to get close enough? Who am I freaking kidding? It's Lysithia, of course she can. But I'm also I'm worried about her getting teamed up on because those two guys together would kill her. Oh my god. Your rage is incredible. Goodbye. I've got no time for mercy. Okay. Sweet. Another victory. Ooh. Wow. I'm excited to use the inexhaustible more. Just go for iron buff here. 31 damage is plenty. This is enough damage that it allows uh, Kill to finish him off. Oh, wow, that's unlucky. How much damage can you do? Ooh, ex Excalibur! Can't afford to lose. Level 32 for Annette. I'll protect cool. We got a Tomahawk. Very nice. Just like a finger grid. You move a little closer. You Oh, uh, I guess yeah, that guy's not a, not actually a problem right now. Much Heal me up. Let me see. Your resilience is 15. These guys are doing it's 31. 31. Yeah, let's just. I'm not gonna risk it. But I wanna. I wanna put him at the very edge. Okay, so we'll move him down two squares. We'll move him here. You hang out there. And then we have to move Hilda, Felix, and Raphael. Okay. Unlucky. Okay, doke. Yeah, that would put me at range. It wouldn't put me at range. What, who did they even put me in range of? Back over there, okay. It won't be in vain. Okay. Thank you. Physic me up, so I'm good to go here. I'm hurt, but I'm with you. No, you're right. I I actually forgot. I I could have had. It doesn't matter. I could have had Leonard heal me up, Sorry. but it, it actually doesn't make any sort of difference, really. At the ready. I, I couldn't have actually attacked with normal bow there. I'd have to use the 
Fail not. So we'll just use Iron Ball from there. We take a step back. Have Ignats move up. Actually, before I do that, I should make sure that guy cannot reach Lysithia. Perfect. That's the literal, like, one spot he can't go. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, these people are just now on her way, so I'm going to move her there. And we'll come up here with Iron Axe. We'll just have Hilda basically do a sweep. And attempt to go get these random dudes over here. Which one is good? Yeah, I don't think you're going for Hilda. I think you're going to go for me. Or, what? That's not what I mean to say. It doesn't matter. That wasn't what I meant, but... I think you're going to not go for me. I think he's going to go for that other guy instead. Much the thief. Because I think that at the moment is kind of there. Yeah, more important for him. Merced is up 26. That's fine. I don't know what Magic and dex. Okay, that's not terrible, at least. It's better than a lo the level up that... Um, than Lawrence would have gotten. He just, he did a full 360. He did a full 360, that's funny. Cool. This could turn the tides. More guys, okay. This will take some strategy. <laughs> okay. Damn, I would have to. Actually, assembly could be a good idea here. Because it would hit the, the beast itself, too. Could you kill if I atta if you attacked after? Yes. Right? Or am I missing? Nope, yeah, definitely. Okay. Oh, and it pulls him away. That's actually, like, a good thing for Hilda. Your death. Ugh, those thieves. You're one to talk, my friend. Okay, now. Ashes and dust. I smell those detestable ten elites. Who are you? I'm the grandson of the grandson of the grandson of the elite Regan. Now tell me who you are. I am your family's enemy. If you carry the blood of the ten elites, you cannot be permitted to live. What do you mean by that? And what's that crest on your forehead? No more talk. If you wish to survive, you must destroy me. Good time for a secret scheme. Nice. Okay, so... Yep, these two are fine over here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, right. Move. Wait. Oh, move again. Claude can move again. Actually, I want you to move over this way. I want you to draw him over a little bit if you can. Okay, how much are you doing to Annette? Yeah, you're absolutely obliterating her. We need to get her out of your attack range. Did the trick. Ooh! Actually, that is what hell- Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh! You have had your fun. If you are going to flee, now is your chance. If you are not going to flee, I shall take your life as payment.
Ooh, it has a really cool effect when she fires the arrow. Yeah, I think she might get hit. But it's okay, she took out a health bar. So, good job, Leonie. Level 38. Ooh, 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 that is amazing! Speed and strength. That is incredible for her. Okay, you're still gonna go... I'm going to... Do that. You need to... If I can get Ignatz here ASAP, it'll be okay. He can... I think that he'll survive. Yeah, and he should be able to double and take that guy out. Um, now you're going for Marianne? Yes. Okay, can you... Yeah, perfect. Good job, Felix. I'd like to have your help with the boss, but I can... I can deal with you protecting Marianne. Okay. Now... Ooh, okay, I need you to attack from farther away. So you don't get hit. Unless you have he just has counterattack, okay. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have Linhart Warp Lysithia in. Maybe have her go for a gambit? Uh, yeah, you need the help. Oh, I imagine I'm gonna have some dialogue with him. So let's let's go for the gambit. Can Lysithia take out a health bar now? No. Wow. It's a little surprising. I think I should just have her do some damage. Ooh, I don't think I've used Luna. That's a cool animation. Ooh, nice. She guarded. Alright. Well done, Ignatz. Yes, you did. Lawrence is up to level 32. Good. Hey! Not enough. You got magic, at least. Forgive me. Alright, let's not do that. Okay, you're still going for Claude. It's probably it's probably better What's if I strategy? literally leave... Let Claude deal, deal with it. Just take the hits. Maybe I could bust a shield. We'll just heal... We'll have Lysithia heal instead. Thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna get absolutely freaking. Oh, hey, Ignatz dodged and crit. So I guess the RNG does change some. The Claude can definitely deal with the hit. And he unfortunately didn't dodge, which I was really hoping he would. He's nearly level 40, bro. He's that's he's absurd. He's just so good. It's, it's actually like ridiculous. I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, I'm gonna physic up Claude. Thanks for that. Okay, I might go for Ashes and Dust again. How much does it hit? Okay. 
Okay, let's use ashes and dust from this angle. See, like, it, it shows... I feel like that's... Okay, it's centered around the point, I'm guessing. That's what it's doing. Okay, I want to do this. Should bust most of his shields. Okay, what remains? The bottom two? Perfect. Ready when you are. This will also finish off his health bar. Witness my resolve. Wonder what we get for doing this. Ashes and Dust is such a good battalion, bro. For now. Ooh, she got strength. That's perfect. And speed, man. That's awesome. Umbral Steel. It has Miracle. That's fun. Okay, move out of the way. Let's see now. Let's double with the Iron Axe. As long as I have more, I know, I mean, I should be good. Let's be honest. We should be good now. I'm your girl. All right. Unfortunately, I can't really get Annette in here, and we're not even gonna worry about it because it's it's not a big enough deal to really try to worry just to get her in here. Since unfortunately, I can't. Oh yeah, restore is not the one I thought it was, but it's okay. I oh I think I've done that repeatedly. Where I accidentally do the do the wrong thing. Leave it to me. I mean Rafael can probably just finish him, yeah. And if he can't. Alright, miracle didn't pop, so we're good. Nice, flings up at level twenty five. Not great. Okay. Oh never mind, we do have that one more health bar, I'm silly. At least we still have three more units to go. Okay, if you attack the inexhaustible 21. Or, excuse me, 42. Okay, she does the most damage with Luna. Can I do 45? With like, yeah, probably. Wow, I actually didn't crit. Okay. I'll go for Hades just because she has that chance to crit. No worries. So we can actually get a net here to finish him off anyway. Provided that is she can do 10. She can with group flames. I'm here to help. So let's do it. Now. Nice, level 33 for Annette, and I think Reset is also leveled up. I'll protect everyone. That was a pretty decent level up. Speed would have been great, but it's okay. Mercedes did not level up. It stopped moving. Is it dead? No. No. It seems it's just sleeping. I thought we were supposed to be given the treasure, but... Forget it. I'll just have a look around there. What about this thing? Huh. I'll think about it later. Nice. We did it. Who gets MVP? Claude. Okay. Yeah, it makes it does make some sense. Cool. Thanks for all your hard work, Teach. Sorry for dragging you along with me. I had no idea it would turn into a fight. But hey, at least we got some treasure out of it. I'll leave this in your capable hands. Do with it as you will. Why don't we share it? How would we do that? 
Is it a weapon? More importantly, I didn't go there looking for treasure. Not really. Legends about the saints abound. It's hard to tell fact from fiction. I like to confirm whatever I can with my own eyes to find the truth in those legends. What did you find out? Not a thing. We didn't find anything concrete to prove that Saint Macuil had been there. We can't say for certain that the treasure we found was Macuil's either. I do wish we could have spoken to that wind caller a bit more. Could it have been Saint Macuil? <laughs> Unlikely. Macuil lived thousands of years ago. And I've never heard anything about the saints being monsters like that. Wait a minute. Could the wind caller have anything to do with the Immaculate One? The Immaculate One is a monster sent by the goddess. Could the wind caller be... Where was it that I heard that stuff about them having been sent by the goddess? <sighs> Maybe I'm too tired. My head is heavy. I can't think straight anymore. Let's call it a day for now. I've got plenty of time to think this over. The Sword of Begalta. Sacred weapon, Crest of Regan, that restores health each, each turn. You're saying it's a sword? And I'm going to forego my points because I don't want to do any more fighting. Alright, Claude went up in flying. Nice. Ignatz went up in riding. Very good. Maybe he's somewhat close to being a Bonite. That could be very good. Ooh, Annette went up in flying as well. Good fuel for a scheme. Cool. Now Lord to keep stance. polishing my skills. All right, whose birthday is it? Raphael's birthday. Let's do a tea party for him. Do do. I'm here, Professor. For sure. I like this tea. It's so tasty. I'm glad. Right. Have some. Do 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 do. Oh. do. Do, 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 do. Huh? Um, you seem well? Uh -huh. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Thanks for everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Sure. I wouldn't have come here if my parents were still alive. That means I never would have met you. That's true. It's sad but true, unfortunately. I'm glad. I'm glad you are here though, because you're freaking awesome. Do I even have anything you might like? Not really, but I think I'll give him a flower just for the heck of it. Uh, I have a bunch of violets. Here you go. Thanks. I'll take it. No problem. I don't have anything, unfortunately, that you would like specifically. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, there we go. What? Oh. Okay. I wonder if I missed it or... You want to see my muscles? <laughs> okay, what's this one? If your muscles are hungry, you gotta feed them. True. Alright. I think we're done. Thanks for the tea. But next time, let's stick to meat. <laughs> okay, Raphael. Happy frickin' birthday, man. Okay, what do we have today? It is St. Mac... Speaking of which, St. Macule Day. I get, it's kind of funny, I guess, that I chose to wait and do it this month. That was completely happenstance. That's funny. Not sure I should sing with everyone. I'm not great at harmonizing. I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings, too. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright, so Ben and Mercedes both went up in reason, Ingrid and Authority. I see how this works. I'll do my best with this. Practice is paying off. Go. Cool. Alrighty, that's where I'm going to be ending this episode, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. Especially the next episode, we'll do the last week. Uh, we'll do this couple, a few supports that we have, and then we'll go to the battle. So, pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to see what that um, all will end up being. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will talk to you all later. Thank you.